What's going on, everyone? It's KB the Mark back to bring you the news. On today's wrestling report, we have many stories. Starting with segments were cut on SmackDown. Bray Wyatt is still waiting to be medically cleared. All In is closing in on breaking another record. And many more stories. Please don't forget to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell to stay up to date. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the news. This Friday's episode of WWE SmackDown opened with the trial of the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns. This segment was the follow up from this past Saturday's Money in the Bank Premium Live event when the Usos beat Undisputed WWE Universal Champion and Solo Sokoa in the Bloodline Civil War match. The segment went nearly 40 minutes long with Reigns hitting a low blow to Jay after teasing he would make him the next Tribal Chief. A brawl broke out with the show later ending with Jay challenging Reigns to a match. PW Insider reports the segment ran longer than originally planned, leading to a ripple effect where later segments had their time cut to fit the Fox broadcast. The report noted that AJ Styles vs. Karrion Cross bout was originally set to go longer than it actually did. While one source believed Asuka's segment went faster than originally planned, the same source believed there may have been other segments the time cut as well. The latest edition of WWE Friday Night SmackDown saw the ratings be up. The show averaged 2.561 million viewers on Fox, which is up from 2.510 million viewers. In the all important 18 to 49 demographic, the show did a 0.76 rating, up from the 0.69 rating a week ago. This is the highest key demo viewership since December 2020 when they had a lead in with an NFL game on Christmas. Excluding that, it was the highest since March 2020. United States Champion Austin Theory vs. Sheamus, AJ Styles vs. Karrion Cross, and Grayson Waller vs. Edge was among the matches featured on the show. It also featured the trial of the Tribal Chief segment with Roman Reigns. This was the fallout show for the Money in the Bank Premium Live event. The show on the same week last year did 2.129 million viewers with the 18-49 demo rating of 0.47. Fans will need to remain patient regarding Bray Wyatt's return to WWE television after being sidelined for the last several months. It was previously reported in March that Wyatt was dealing with an illness. His storyline, which included Alexa Bliss and Bo Dallas as Uncle Howdy, was stopped when he disappeared from television. This caused WWE to scrap plans for Wyatt to wrestle Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania 39. A few months ago, Wyatt was seen out in public and seemed to be in good spirits. Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful Select reported that Wyatt is still not medically cleared to make an in-ring return. The report noted that one WWE higher-up told them that Wyatt is still sidelined and not cleared for action. We're told that he's still awaiting clearance and hopeful for a return whenever that occurs. Fightful added that they've not heard any significant creative plans for Wyatt in recent months because of his status. Rhea Ripley has been on a great run in her WWE career after being linked with the Judgment Day once Edge and Damian Priest recruited her into the group before Finn Balor kicked Edge out of the group and added Dominique Mysterio. Ripley has been praised for her on-screen relationship with Mysterio and the chemistry that they have. Ripley won this year's Women's Royal Rumble match, earning the rights to challenge for a title of her choosing at WrestleMania 39. This led to Ripley beating Charlotte Flair to win the SmackDown Women's title on the first night. WWE later renamed the Raw and SmackDown Women's title, with Ripley now holding the Women's World title. Since winning the title, she has retained the title in defenses against the likes of Natalya and Zelina Vega. Ripley recently reached a milestone as champion as she has been the Women's World Champion for 100 days. WWE is planning to have Ripley defend her championship at the August 5th SummerSlam Premium Live event. The live viewership numbers for AEW Rampage are in. Rampage drew 368,000 viewers and a .12 rating in the 18-49 demographic on TNT 
in the 10 p.m. Eastern time slot on Friday. Last week in the same time slot, the show drew 450,000 viewers in a 0.13 rating. Last week was the best total viewership that Rampage has done since April 14th. The show that aired on the same week last year did 428,000 viewers with an 18 to 49 demo rating of 0.15. AEW is a little over a month away from making his debut in the United Kingdom when they run Wembley Stadium for the all-in show on August 27th, a venue that holds up to 90,000 fans. The show has surpassed all expectations so far with ticket sales as they have done over a 8 million gate. It will be a historic event for the promotion with it being AEW's first ever show in the country and the biggest attended show in company history. The show has sold just over 75,000 tickets with it now being set up for nearly 88,000 seats. In the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Dave Meltzer reported that 68,000 paid tickets would make for an 8.6 million gate. Meltzer wrote, This would make it the seventh largest verified attendance in pro wrestling history. If they can move 6,000 more tickets, they will break the all-time attendance record for a paid show, which is 80,709 for the 2016 WrestleMania. Meltzer noted that with the strong card, the record is within reach before adding the paid record of 79,800 for that show is not impossible, but it looks difficult. They look to almost surely be able to top the 78,000 at WrestleMania 3. Also, no matches have been confirmed for the show. There have been a lot of wrestlers to wrestle in AEW slash Ring of Honor, whether they've been homegrown talent, wrestlers from other promotions, and veterans. There have been plenty of former WWE names working in the company from Chris Jericho to John Moxley to CM Punk and Brian Danielson. One former WWE star may be the latest person to do so after starting to work for AEW as a producer slash coach. Chris Hero first made a name for himself on the independent wrestling scene and the Ring of Honor before going to WWE with his stint from 2011 to 2013. He returned in 2016 for his second run where he was used in NXT in addition to working for the NXT UK brand before being released in April 2020 due to budget cuts. He hasn't wrestled since. A few weeks ago, he started working as a producer on the AEW Collision brand, something he recently confirmed on Twitter. While responding to a fan on Twitter regarding the idea of Hero being part of the July 19th Blood and Guts match, AEW president noted, I'm chipping away on him. Khan added, I can't say for sure if I'll ever get him, but I'll keep chipping away at him on a weekly basis and hopefully someday he'll crack. Either way, I love working with them. That's it, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Please be sure to check out more videos from the channel. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell for daily wrestling videos. Once again, I'm KB the Mark, signing off. Until the next one. I started with nothing and came out of king. Came out of king. Yeah. I've been the one that's been balling for rings. I've been the one that's been balling for rings. It's been me and my team and we chasing the green. My team be the shit, we ain't ballin' for free My team be the shit, we ain't ballin' for free